स्वामीनाथन सदानंद Swaminathan Sadanand was an Indian journalist. In 1927, Sadanand started the Free Press Agency, which was the first news agency owned and managed by Indians. He was also the founder and managing editor of Free Press Journal. He also founded a Tamil daily broadsheet named Dinamani. Sadanand was born in 1900 in Chennai, Tamil Nadu. educated in madras city and entered journalism in 1917 he was in the thick of politics right from the start of his career as a publicity officer for the indian national congress for a while he looked after khadi and village industries later he became the assistant editor of the independent allahabad in 1920 then migrated to rangoon times In a bid to counter the pro-British propaganda, Sadan started his free press news service in 1927. According to Sadan, public opinion was molded entirely by news supply on a day-to-day basis, and it was difficult to mold healthy public opinion. FPA had a foreign section in London and Washington. popularity of this news agency grew and full of the weight of the british was deployed to abolish this enterprise prosecuted by the british indian government under press laws and convicted in 1930 on appeal sadanand was acquitted fpa was then subjected to strict censorship and newspapers grew reluctant to publish news supplied by the fpa After FPA faced strict censorship, Sadanand started the Free Press Journal as a morning daily newspaper in June 1930 from Bombay. Sadanand took over the Indian Express in 1932 from Dr. P. B. Naidu and conducted it as a newspaper of the Free Press Journal Group. On 15th of August 1947, the Nawab of Junagadh, a princely state, wanted to merge with Pakistan and had also signed the necessary documents. Sardar Patel mobilized the troops. Sadanand's newspaper Free Press Journal went ahead and published a report exposing the mobilization of troops by India. He died in the year 1950 at St Isabel's Hospital, Mailapur. Sadanand was a fearless journalist. The spirit with which he launched the paper and ran it for almost 3 decades helped to make it an integral part of the two great Indian movements. The struggle for independence and the evolution of Indian publishing.